In the previous video, I took a look at how Munkin used 12 personnel at Georgia. This video, with the exception of the very first play, will consist of Ravens plays from 2023. The play on our screen is a framework or sets the groundwork for an alignment and a play in a play formation that Munkin and the Ravens liked to run in 2023. The formation and the play we want to start off looking at, and we'll see it translate into the NFL, specifically to the Ravens, is this tight bunch tray set. Sometimes backside, they'll run outside zone, and sometimes they'll pull the guard and run a power look to the backside of this concept. And there are variations in the routes that are run, but the essence is a play action boot with some form of flood play side. Now we're on to the Ravens in 2023. Here's that tight bunch tray set that we mentioned. That's Ricard, Isaiah Likely. We're going to see the right guard pull, give a kind of power look. The intent really is to seal this backside edge when they boot Lamar. Both tackles are blocking down. Pat also blocks down, ends up singled up on the edge with this defender. John Coate mentioned in the comment section of the last video I did how often it is that Pat is the second tight end on the field. That happens to bear the merit of being true. Fact of the matter is, he is the best blocking tight end we have. Mark would be second. The other two are a distant three and four. In any case, here's that play we talked about and the application of the tight ends. You're going to see likely with this false motion to that side. Almost looks like an insert look as if he's not sure. Play action, keep. Lamar ends up hitting likely in the flat. Going off of memory now, but if memory serves, each time they run this concept out of this look, they run it away from the boundary and to the field. Although the majority of the time Lamar is under center, sometimes they run this concept with him uh, in shotgun as well. Here we get the protection slid and an outside zone look. Pat, again, is going to block the edge. You're going to see the DN kind of chase that look. That's going to help Pat out a little bit. Mark's going to run this deep corner route. I believe this is Bateman coming all the way across running the sail. That ends up being the hit with Zay running an out route. Lamar makes a nice read. He's reading this defender. If this defender drives on the out, He's going to look to the sail with Mark's vertical concept holding the safety. This is a wing tray set, just a little bit different. The receiver on the outside having a wider split. We also get the quarterback in shotgun. Our tight ends are likely in line and Pat as the wing. Very similar concepts in terms of the routes being run. Isaiah is going to run the deep route with the sail coming across from the other side and the wide out plays to the flat. Once again, it's boundary to field with the offensive line in a slide and an outside zone look. Quarterback's going to keep, boot, read the play side corner and hit the flat. Twelve personnel out of pistol. We get a double wing set. This is Kolar and Pat. It may be that people underestimate the value of Pat Ricard. Ravens are going to run this hang concept. They get two curls. Both Charlie Kolar and the back are going to chip, and they're going to run flat routes. Pat's going to move over post snap and watch him hold up on the edge, blocking and protecting the quarterback. A very nice second call built in, if I'm reading this right. We're going to see Lamar change the play call based on a man look out of the Jaguars. We'll see Zay Flowers shift it over pre-snap. His man go with him, and Lamar change the play. You can see he has Pat's attention fully, the back's attention fully. It's a really nice little wrinkle. Once again, you have the two tight ends relatively tight here. This tray set. Pistol ace slot, Kolar, Pat Ricard with motion. Kolar's going to block down. They're going to run counter with Pat leading through, the guard kicking out. This play gets kind of mucked up 
by virtue of the guard getting knocked back into the backfield. Ace wing once again, this time with Mark, with Pat as our wing. On this play, Pat runs the arrow. Rashad Bateman runs this slant. I'm going to nitpick a little bit here because the play turns out. But in my opinion, Lamar needs to be reading this side of the field against single high coverage. He has a spacing concept backside where Mark runs this ball route. You get a flat route and a hitch here. Once you confirm a single high look, you see the flat defender chase. I think you have to hit this slant and give Bateman a chance to take this somewhere. I'll go back to what I said in sort of referencing John and his comment in the comments section on the last video. Based on 2023 and 12 personnel, you're going to see Pat out there. When I hear a lot of Ravens fans saying we need more two tight end sets, my interpretation of that is they mean they want to see Likely and Mark Andrews on the field catching passes. I'm not sure if things will pan out the same way in 2024, but it may be a matter of more 13 personnel with Pat being tight end three because as much as they like to run out of these formations, they're going to have a hard time taking Pat off the field.